Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffy back with another video. All right, y'all. Another pop two video here. This is for my neighbors. As a matter of fact, uh, this is one of my favorites in the neighborhood, especially with the kids. I got a lot of Hispanics that live in the neighborhood, and they love my rice pudding. They call it arroz con, what is it, leche? Rice with milk, how you say it? No, don't, don't let me start my country Spanish in here, y'all. Arroz con leche, I think that's what they call it. But they love mine, because I kick it up a notch with, with I guess with my Eagle brand milk or whatever. But anyway, y'all, it's a very simple recipe. Takes about 30 minutes to make, and if you like it hot, 30 minutes, if you like it cold, take a little longer. I like mine, ice cold, or at least room temperature. I don't like eating it hot. I really don't, never have. Even when my mom used to make it. And my mom used to tell you a story about this, and then I'm gonna get started here. Uh, you know, my mom, every Sunday, we used to have rice for breakfast with sugar and butter on it. A lot of people don't know about eating rice with sugar and butter on it. But in the country, that's how I grew up. I ain't know nothing about eating rice with just gravy, nothing like that, till later on in my mid-teens adult life that I learned you could eat rice with gravy on it. That wasn't even unheard of in my house growing up in in uh, Southeast Texas. We ate butter and sugar on our rice growing up, especially it was a breakfast item. So any rice that was left over from breakfast, you would turn it into a, a rice pudding later on. And this is pretty much how she done it. So anyway, y'all, let me get started here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put the, uh, let me get my rice. Let me turn y'all over here to the to my stove here. So y'all see what I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to put my rice in here and get it cooked off. I got a cup, about a cup and a half of rice there. And most rice is two to one. One, one part rice and two part liquid. I'm doing a little bit less than that. This time, I'm gonna cook my rice off first, of course. Get it pretty fully cooked. Then we're gonna add all the good stuff to it. Like I said, first thing I'm gonna add my, get my rice cooking off in here. Let me get my rubber my. There we go. Now, we're going to get this boiling and get this cooked off. It's going to take about 10 to 12 minutes to get it cooked like I want. Once it's boiling and cooked, I'm going to come back and we're going to add the other ingredients. Like I say, it don't take long at all, y'all, to get this done. Depending on if you like it hot or cold. But it's just a whole tradition growing up. I mean, Sunday, <laughs> hoping it was from rice. Sometimes there wasn't no rice left over. Depending on how hungry it was, it, it wasn't no rice left over. And uh, we would just have to do, have something else for dessert. So anyway, y'all, I'll be right back. Once this rice is cooked, we'll do the rest of the ingredients. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. I'm going to turn this down just slightly. Now, this is what you're looking for. This took about 12 minutes here. Okay, got it till most of the uh, milk is in, uh, the water is gone. Now, I'm going to pour my milk in here. This is what's going to make it so good, y'all. Got five cups of milk, and about to say six, and I'm gonna put a, this is what they really love. Put some evaporated milk. That's that healthy milk right here, y'all. That's that good milk right here. Milk you can eat with a spoon, like they call it. It's that milk you can eat with a spoon. Okay. Now, what I wanna do, I wanna bring this back up to a boil until it thickens, till all the milk is gonna, it's gonna take about, about once it get to boiling, it's gonna take about 10 minutes, y'all. It's gonna take about 10 minutes here. So we're gonna let this, we're gonna step off here. I'm gonna put a lid on it, kind of speed up the process. I don't want this lid like that. I'm gonna let this come to a boil. And once it thickens, we're gonna come back here. We're gonna add our sugar to this, let it boil about 10 minutes, five minutes. Then we're gonna add our vanilla, and then we're gonna temper it, add our eggs, and let it really get thickened. This stuff is so, so good, y'all, I'm telling you. So anyway, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Okay, and the milk, this is, see how this is thickened slightly? And that milk is kind of absorbed into that rice, see that? Now, it's gonna take another like I say, the first time I cooked it with the water, let me go back because I'm maybe I'm moving too fast here. 
The first part, put the rice and the water together. Cook it 12 minutes. You can cook it up to 15. You really want the water to pretty much evaporate. Depending on what kind of rice you're using. Now I use a long grain rice. This here I'm using Uncle Ben long grain. That's what I use for my rice pudding because it holds up better than any kind of other rice. See how it's hold, holding up? See? It's been cooking a long time. It's been cooking about 30 minutes. See how it's held up? It's not stuck together. That's why I use Uncle Ben long grain. It's very important to me. The type of rice. Every rice is not the same. It doesn't cook the same. Some get so mushy and gooey. Some of them stick together. When I rice pudding, I don't want that to happen. I want it to be like this. So I cooked the, the water and the rice initially for 12 to 15 minutes until it get pretty much all the water evaporated. Then I add the milk to this. And then I'm gonna cook it, I cooked it another 20 minutes and this is what you got. So see the slight little milk is gone but not completely. This is kind of the uh, texture you want. Now I'm gonna add all my sugar in here. I'll let my neighbors call me here. I'm gonna let that phone ring. I guess my neighbors know I'm making rice pudding, y'all. They calling me already. Okay. Now we're gonna cook this here with the sugar in it for about, I'm gonna let this cook about six minutes, y'all. Let this cook six minutes here. And then it's going to slightly thicken too. Then we come back, we're going to see my eggs right here. I'm going to whip them up and I'm going to temper this. Meaning I'm going to put some of this hot liquid into this. And uh, temper this. Get these eggs the same temperature as this. And then I'm going to add them in there. And then I'm going to add my nutmeg and my vanilla. I always Remember, I always add the vanilla right at the end to get the, the complete... Um, strength of your vanilla. If you add the vanilla right in the middle of the cooking process, all the flavor cooks out. So that's another hint. Always add the vanilla if possible when you're cooking something like this right at the end so you can get the whole strong effect of the vanilla. So we'll be right back, y'all. Okay, y'all, we back again. And this is what we is right now. You can see, look how creamy this rice is putting in. So I really, look how creamy it is. We haven't got to a complete thickening stage that I wanted. Now, we're going to add the eggs to this. Like I said, all I'm going to do, I'm going to mix this up here. Make sure you whip them up first. And we do not pour, you do not want to just pour these eggs into here. And now you're going to have scrambled eggs and just ruin your rice pudding. So what you want to do, stir this up. You want to add a little hot to the eggs here. And then, you're going to mix it up here. Just a second. You're gonna just mix the the hot into the cold air eggs. Then we're gonna pour this in here like this. And that's gonna make it even more. Get all that out of there, y'all. There we go. There we go, y'all. Look at that. Turn it up in there. Make sure you get it all mixed together. Now we're going to add our. Make sure you get it all mixed up in there, y'all. All incorporated in there, really good. Now we're going to add our vanilla to this. that add a vanilla to this then we're gonna add our cinnamon to this all this add up in here together y'all I need to get my whisk here a whisk here to get that cinnamon really incorporated in there y'all Oh yeah, looking good here, y'all. 
Looking good. Mixed all up in there really good. Now I'm gonna let this simmer about five more minutes and we're gonna pour it out of here and we're gonna let it cool off. That's the key, y'all. That is the key here. So we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back. Look at this here. Look at this goodness, y'all. Look at this big old pot of rice pudding goodness. Now, this is ready. I'm going to turn it off. Now, you can eat it like this if you want to. But like I say, y'all, I like mine cool. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn y'all over this way. And I got my little casserole dish here. And I'm like to pour mine in my little casserole dish here. Let me get my tiles here. That's right there. And I like to let me get all this stuff out of here, y'all. So get all the goodness out of here. I'm use everything out of here. Okay. Let this sit right here, y'all. And get cool. Like I said, it's gonna take. Mm, this is so good, y'all. It's gonna take about probably three or four hours for me, for my uh, satisfaction. And then uh, also, you can do this, y'all. Hold on just a second. Put a little cinnamon on top. Cinnamon on top of here like this. Make a little cinnamon on top of there. Just for your little garnish. There you go. That's it. And I'm gonna let that set there, y'all. Shoot. I'm gonna uh, for three, four hours before I even touch it. Cause I like I said, I like my room temperature or most of all cool. Of course, if it's cool, it's going to set up to be an actual pudding. And sometimes, y'all, what you can be fancy with, you can use these. If I'm having a party at my house, I will put them in these little dishes right here. Which I'll show y'all that when I come back. I have some like that. Then I have some in some big bowls like that. I would do that if I was to do a a little party at my house, but yeah, but anyway, y'all, I'll be right back a couple hours, and we'll taste this old school rice pudding. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back. I let this cool about three hours. I actually put it in the fridge. So we're going to scoop this out. Like I say, y'all, to reiterate, if you like it hot, you can eat it hot. I like mine ice cold. I like my rice pudding ice cold. And this is what you'll get. And just scoop it out just like that. See this? A little scoop here. I can show y'all here. A close up here to what you're going to get. See that? See how nice and creamy this rice pudding is? And like I say, you can't rush it. It's three stages. You saw the three stages that I did. First, you cook it in the water, let it cook 20 minutes. Then you add the milk, let it cook another. 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, or whatever. Then you temper with the eggs, add that, and let it cook about five minutes, and this is what you'll get. Now, let me taste this. I already know it's creamy and good. My relatives, uh, neighbors love this. Look at this. See that? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm telling y'all, this is my childhood growing up. My mom used to take the leftover rice, Put some milk in it, sugar, a little cinnamon. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. I just gotta keep showing y'all just how creamy it is. So creamy, flavorful. And you can add raisins to this too. Sometimes I add raisins. I ain't have no raisins, but hey, it's all good. Like I say, Sometimes I'll put it in individual bowls. If I'm having a 
I party at my house. I'm telling you, my labels love it. Especially my Hispanic neighbors. They love it. And they be say they, a lot of them say they grew up on what do they call it? Uh, Rose con leche. I think that's how you say it. They say they never made it. They never tasted nothing like this. I say this is the way I grew up eating it. Are you a bit more of this? Yeah, let's do it. So anyway, y'all, another little spontaneous video I wanted to show y'all. So anyway, if you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food Day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.